Hello and welcome to Fashion Report Friday, the weekly video series trying to get you the most MGP possible from the Gold Saucer Fashion Report every time a judging begins on a Friday. This is week 183 and the theme this time around is high class postmaster. The clues include cap in hand for your helm, weird science for your chest, check and check for your legs and short boots for your feet slot. In this video we'll have a 100 score, an 80 with dies and the easiest 80 possible. So without further ado, let's get to that 100. Alrighty then, so here for the 100 score first we have ourselves the use of the post Mughal cap. This is actually from a quest line that starts in Limsa Laminsa Lower Decks, and it's quite a long one, and it's uh, from the little post Mughal that could, I think it's called, something like that. It's a very low level quest, and something that's easily obtainable by uh, everybody in the game. Uh, if you just simply do that side quest, uh, information on the screen will point you in the right direction for where that starts, obviously. Other things that should work, although I cannot guarantee that they do because I do not have the testing time today, include the flat cap, the scarlet cap of aiming and casting, and potentially the Scarlet Cap of Striking, Scouting and Healing as well. Those items would work, possibly, but I haven't tested them. Um, but I would imagine something like the Flat Cap might work, but whether or not it'll give you all of the points required is another question entirely. But uh, if you want to definitely have something that guaranteed to work, go for the post Moogle cap instead. It's really not that much of an issue, and this does crop up quite a bit in Fashion Report, so you might want to get that done regardless. For the chest then, I went for the Rami Robe of Casting. This is something that's easily accessible to people level 54 in the game that have a caster. Unfortunately, I don't believe that the healing version of this would work. I cannot confirm or deny that, but I don't think it would. So the Rami Robe, uh, robe of Casting is something that you can get uh, through actual weaving, or you can purchase this from the market board. It's that easy. Alternatives to this slot, though, include the Dark Divinity Feldir, which is from um, Odin, the Odin Trial, if that's something you'd rather. But of course, there's a lot of stuff in there that is uh, pretty low drop chance, and your chances of getting that are significantly lower. You could, of course, unsync that. It's really up to you what you prefer, crafting, buying something, or doing Odin. But uh, we can confirm that the Dark Divinity Feldir will give you gold as well. For the legs then, I went for the wind silk bottoms. These are easily be obtainable. They're quite easy craft, honestly. Uh, they shouldn't cost you too much. If they do seem to cost you too much on the market board, craft them yourself or find someone to craft them for you. Uh, people are severely undercutting at the moment. Uh, you definitely want to keep a hold of these for future fashion reports as well. The wind silk bottoms do tend to crop up quite a bit. Alternatively to this includes the, um, the ruby cotton bottoms and the ghost bark bottoms of casting. Those others will work guaranteed. Uh, specifically the ghost bark bottoms of casting you can get of course from a dungeon, so if you don't want to spend any gil, that's another viable alternative. For the boots then, I went for the Cyan Adventurer's boots. This is something that you obtain freely through the course of the MSQ. I don't want to bring up specifically when, but uh, if you have these or you misplace these, you can go to a Calamity Salvager and pick these up. But of course, you do get them from the main storyline quests and uh, there's a specific reason you get them, so we'll leave it at that. Alternatives that do work include the High House Half Boots. Those definitely work. Um, those are reasonably obtainable and have a crafting recipe. I believe the Archaeo Skin Half Boots might work as well, although I cannot confirm at this point. That's pretty much the 100, though. It's fairly annoying. The chest piece is a little bit irritating unless you you know, really have accessible uh, level 54, but it, it's going to come down to what you prefer at the end of the day. So let's move on to 80s that don't require you to actually collect all of these things in the game. 
So the HE with dies then, a lot of these dies are fairly accessible, there's nothing that's going to cost you too much I don't think. As you can see there we have Abyss Blue on our weapon, that's any weapon in the game died Abyss Blue, any helm in the game died Abyss Blue, any hands in the game died Pearl White with any body in the game died Metallic Green, any legs in the game Rose Pink and any feet such black. Really the most expensive one there is probably the pearl white ultimately, but you can get that with Sky Builder scripts if you've got any of those lying around still, and then metallic green, but everything else shouldn't be too difficult. Most of those are vendor purchased or at least relatively cheap on the market board in comparison to something that might be like jet black, for example. So at least we have a break from jet black this week. You never know, it might it might might get a freebie next week as well without having to do jet black. But uh, those are your die options. So let's move on to the easiest AT possible. Okay, so okay, so for an easy AT, there are really two ways you can go about this. Uh, the first way you can go is by equipping those wind silk bottoms as well as the cyan adventurer boots. The wind silk bottoms then are obtainable uh, and usable by all classes level one and above, and same with the uh, boots there. That's why I, I chose those specifically. Dye the wind silk bottoms rose pink and dye the boots sot black, and you'll have an 80 guaranteed. In fact, an 88 at this point, um, as long as I have something equipped in all of these other slots as well. So that's that's one way to do it. Another way to do this would actually be to um, actually just dye any boots in the game uh, sut black and have the wind silk bottoms with rose pink and that will get you 80 as well as you can see on screen. So really ultimately it comes down to you if you have these already. If you want to make sure that you're going to get that 80 guaranteed then uh, you know sometimes dyeing the sign adventure boots might not be a bad idea. If you've got these, they should be like accessible to you. You have the uh, Calamity Salvager if you ha have mislaid them, so it shouldn't be too much of an issue. Anyway, thankfully the Easy 80 is there because this week does have a little bit of uh, complications, as you can imagine. Uh, the chess piece in particular took me a while to find an alternative to the Odin one, so uh, I was originally going to go and recommend the Odin chess piece, but that's more trouble than it's worth ultimately when you can get one from crafting or from a market board. So there we go. Hopefully you enjoyed this. There will be a link in the uh, description of this video that takes you over to the Reddit theory thread where this is theorized each week for die options. Um, be sure to check out um, that. And also thank you so much to the Japanese Twitter community for being pretty much the first every time with all of the solutions for this. So much love, enjoy the rest of your weekend and I'll see you all next time. Bye bye.